Good day everyone and welcome back yet again to the 2021 Nest Box series. If you are enjoying the videos, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe also. So in the last video we were contemplating on was the fifth egg hatched? And we get the answer to that in this video, but also the night of the 25th, you can see it's just 10 past 1 at the moment, something is stirring Mindy. So has another egg hatched? Is it the fifth egg or is it the sixth egg? And we can see Mindy there making short work of the egg by eating it and replacing some of that valuable calcium. And later that morning, just look, just look how small that chick's beak is compared to the others. I believe that's our newly hatched chick. And Mindy and Mork getting right on breakfast duty. And just look at the top of the nest when Mindy leaves. You can see that there's two chicks with two smaller beaks than the rest. So that would tell me one did hatch yesterday, or at the very least two hatched last night. A full two days after the eldest sibling... So Mork and Mindy are going to have to try to really hard to bring in enough food because that chick is at a huge disadvantage when compared to the older siblings. This size difference alone is very obvious and they are going to be stronger chicks than the smaller ones. So it is going to be interesting to see how that one plays out. And we see parent and chick completely missing the boat on a fecal sack there. But don't worry, as it gets picked up when Mindy comes back in. I really have to stop myself saying Biddy all the time. And just watch what Mindy does here. She leaves down the caterpillar that she brought in and eats the fecal sac and then picks the caterpillar back up to then feed the chicks. In our previous nest, Biddy and Miley, any time they picked up a fecal sac, even if they had food in the mouth, would eat the whole lot. Food that was originally brought in for the chicks will be eaten with the fecal sac. Again, this would tell me that maybe Mindy and Mork are more experienced parents. And also please keep in mind that these are my own opinion and pretty much my speculation on what's going on. And we can never truly be sure. But it really is amazing just the different quantity of food that's been brought in compared to Biddy and Miley's nest. Whether it was an experience or all just down to the weather, the difference was very apparent. Or maybe between Biddy and Miley there was unfavourable traits there. Maybe they are inclined to nest earlier. Or at the very least be less able to predict the right time to nest. As we can see, Mindy and Mork has lively chicks there that are being very well fed. So it's going to be Mindy's and Mork's genes that are going to be transferred this season into the next generation. And will these chicks be better suited than Biddy and Miley's chicks would have been? We might have even seen a small bit of natural selection being played out. Biddy and Miley's tendency to nest early failed for them this year. There's going to be less chicks in the future in this area with the tendency to nest early. And as I mentioned, there is a certain number of Mindy and Mork's chicks going to fledge. That number I'm keeping to myself. But those chicks are going to have more likely the same tendencies as Mindy and Mork. And those tendencies seem to be winning out this season. But not every season is the same. And what works one season, mightn't work the next. The natural order of things is really amazing and very hard to get your head round. And I've said it before, it seems to be one of those things the more you know, the more you realise how little you know. But that's what keeps it interesting. If it was the same every year, it would get awful boring. But there's no guarantees in nature, and these birds that we've seen with Biddy and Miley have to go up against life and death all the time. It's no walk in the park. 
That is unless you are, of course, Mindy and Mork, who were putting up a brilliant performance in bringing in loads of food for these chicks. It really is a non-stop effort, and a gallant effort at that. I don't know when they have time to eat themselves. And that's the whole family in the shot there. But what would a family gathering be without a fecal sack? So in the coming days, you're going to see the chicks slowly go from that bright red to a darker red as their feathers start to grow. Their wings will start to develop and also pin feathers will start to form. Eventually their eyes will open and over the next couple of weeks just become more and more like little birds. And on the 25th, we had a little bit of rain. Just listen to it in the next shot. At least Mindy and the chicks are keeping nice and warm and dry. Thankfully it doesn't seem to slow down the feeding at all. As Mork is straight in with some food. I always find it humorous how the chicks sometimes completely miss the boat where gaping for food is concerned. And just watch in the coming days how much more vigorously they gape for food. As they get older, their demand for food just grows and grows with them. We see here in the next sequence the smallest chick getting a feed. I'm always a sucker for the little guy. So how many chicks do we have in this nest? Well, if you look very closely at the next sequence, you will see six little beaks. And during the day you would have seen that there is still one egg unhatched. And I don't believe that egg ever hatches. When watching it live, I never saw more than six chicks. So six chicks is the number that Mindy and Mork have to raise. So why did the other egg never hatch? Well, maybe it got damaged during brooding, or maybe it was never fertilized, or maybe something on the inside went wrong. To be honest, we will never truly know. And as I mentioned, when I was watching it live, I never did see more than six chicks, but that doesn't necessarily mean that there wasn't. As I go through the footage, I may well see that a seven chick hatches and, gets, and dies and gets taken out as I haven't went through all the footage with a fine tooth comb. But as it stands at the moment, I really do believe that only six chicks hatched and one didn't hatch. But pretty good odds nonetheless. And nearing the end of another good day where feeding is concerned for the chicks. All seem happy and healthy and certainly seem quite lively. The chicks that have hatched first have certainly grown already, and the newly hatched chicks are still quite small in comparison. It's going to be really interesting to see, do they manage to catch up? So as another chick completely misses the boat with its fecal sac, I'm going to leave it there. And as always, thank you so much for watching. When I started this, it really did feel like I was sitting here chatting to myself. So now, I really do love seeing all the comments coming in, so make sure to leave a comment, leave a like, and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll leave you with six little newest additions of the Mindy and Mork family. Thanks again, bye bye.